senior leadership and management training to influence your output, growth, change and culture. Hi, it's Nick Hill. Good to have you with me here today. My clients have always found it beneficial to see emotions as catalysts, and this is what I've taught them, catalysts for behavioral change. Your emotions, see your emotions as catalysts, triggers, if you prefer that word, for your behavioral change, which means that if your subconscious mind recognize, recognizes that behavioral change is necessary, it will communicate to the, your conscious mind to say, if you don't make this change, this thing, this activity may happen. So think about it this way. Your subconscious mind recognizes that behavioral change must take place. The amygdala generates the emotion which sends signals to your conscious mind. You consciously experience the emotion and now you say to yourself, what do I do with this thing? And your amygdala will continue to send those signals to your conscious mind until you get the message and act on it, until you finally change. So if we accept the presupposition that I mentioned earlier as being true, and what was the presupposition? That the subconscious mind is there to serve the conscious mind, or there to support the conscious mind and your entire being, then we can start to say, the amygdala, therefore, is also serving me by generating these emotions, even if they feel uncomfortable, even if they feel quote unquote negative, and you don't want to experience them right now. One thing you can do is to sit back when you are reflecting on the meaning and the message of that emotion to say, thank you, subconscious mind. Oh, that's a crazy thing to do. I'm not going to start speaking to myself. Really? What are you saying to yourself right now? Because if you're speaking to yourself right now, you're just as crazy as me. Do you speak to yourself when you go through your shopping list? Yes or no? I need to get this. I need to get that. I need to get this. I need to get that. Or you speak to yourself when you are sitting down to eat a meal. And throughout that meal, you go, mm, this is really good. I like this. You're speaking to yourself, okay? Occasionally, it might actually do you some justice and you might benefit from some of that self-talk by saying, thank you, subconscious mind, or thank you. If you don't like saying, thank you, subconscious mind, you might just say, hey, thank you, Nick. Okay, and you speak to the very core of you, you speak to your soul, and you communicate in a way that actually acknowledges the emotion, acknowledges the signal, and agrees that the message being sent is one of purpose, one that is helpful, one that is to serve you. And guess what happens to that unhelpful negative emotion? It's, it just subsides, it goes away, and the subconscious mind says, job done. No need to activate or generate any more of those emotions, whether it's fear or frustration or anger, it has served its purpose. Consider all your emotions as invaluable catalysts for necessary behavioral change. Nicholas C. Hill. If you are enjoying these webinars, please like, subscribe, click that notification bell and send it to someone that you love. See you in the next webinar. Attend this training in person or online. Book an in-house tailored course, one-to-one -one program or enroll on our open masterclasses today. Inquire now on 0345 678 9900 or email info at hilltraining.com. Read Nicholas C. Hill's Professional Leader Magazine now, the new quarterly digital publication for leaders and managers like you who want to influence output, growth, change, and culture. International master coach trainer of leadership and management strategy with over 25 years of experience, Nicholas C. Hill gives you over 90 pages of relevant, profoundly challenging and solution-driven content enveloped in beautiful artwork that you can read on any digital device. 
Our cover stories deliver essential lessons in leadership from the late masters of business, government, and nonprofit. Our thought leader column shares the timeless wisdom of thinkers who changed the landscape of organizational philosophy and psychology. Get the leadership and management resources you need today. Purchase Professional Leader Magazine now on professionalleader.com.